assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so the topic that we are going to discuss today it is a role of gypsum in agriculture and industry so before the start of its role in agriculture and industry you guys must know that what does mean by the gypsum basically gypsum it is the hydrated calcium sulfate its name is hydrated calcium sulfate hydrated mean it is having the molecules of water along with that in its formula and it can be written as CaSO4 which is named as calcium sulfate and it is the mineral that occurs in large deposits in the world so we have large deposits of calcium sulfate in this world or throughout the world and basically in gypsum it is the main source for the calcium and for the sulfur so two main constituents can be gained from the gypsum in this lesson we will discuss about its importance in agriculture as well as in industry that how it is important for the plants in the agriculture and in the industry what type of products we can gain or what are the main uses of the gypsum in our industry so let's have a look on the role of gypsum in agriculture in agriculture basically gypsum it is the main source of calcium to the soil when we just add this gypsum in the soil it gives calcium as well as sulfur to the soil so it is very important in one thing for the crops production in this picture you can see that here we have a small plant and the nutrients that it needs for its growth is sulfur magnesium potassium phosphorus nitrogen and calcium and from this we have calcium and sulfur so they can be provided by the use of gypsum which is having calcium and sulfur in it on the other hand it has been recognized the sulfur is also an essential constituent for the plants for example if we applied the sulfur to the plants it helps in the growth of the roots on the other hand when we provide sulfur to the plants it has been just seen that it helps in the development of chlorophyll as it is not the part of the chlorophyll but it prevents from the yellowing of the leaves as you have seen that in our daily life we have some type of leaves that are yellowing it means there is no chlorophyll so to prevent its deficiency we have to provide the sulfur to the plants in the form of gypsum so on the other hand the root system of the plants can also be improved by the use of or the application of the sulfur so it has been reported that there are many applications of sulfur we have in the agriculture as it helps in the growth of the plants along with the calcium so this was a simple role of gypsum in the agriculture next we have the role of gypsum in the industry that what how it works in the industry gypsum when it is heated carefully upon heating it is converted into the product that is known as plaster of paris so here we have the product known as plaster of paris how it just gain we have to heat the gypsum and the formula of gypsum we have calcium sulfate and 2H2O we can just gain it by heating up to the limit when it just lose the water to three quarter not more than if we are going to heating it for a long time then we gain such type of plaster that is known as the dead bond so we don't 
want the dead burnt we just need the plaster of paris which is having a small quantity of water in it now we have a lot of uses for the plaster of paris because when we just add water in it it forms a viscous substance and that substance just settle down and changes into the hard form after some time so it is used for the filling of many things and it undergoes also expansion and that expansion is just 1% so it is used to fill the different depressions it is also used to make the plaster walls it is also used to make the statues and also used for the making of the coins so this is the simple role of gypsum in the industry along with that it is also used in the surgery and the plaster of paris bandages are also available which are used just to hold the fractured bones on the other hand next we have the cement plaster it is the plaster of paris which is usually glue or the other oils have been added why they have been added it just to retard the prolong the time of setting in this way it started to settle down and changes into the hard material after some time so the cement plasters are also used for the making of the houses mainly when we have a calcium sulfate and we added the water it changes into the gypsum but when we remove that water it will be changes into the plaster of paris so this process is a circular process or it is a main process that is moving in a cycle state on the other hand here we have the hard finish plasters this is a second type of plasters these are made by the calcination of the anhydrous sulfate and hydrous sulfate in which there is no water and we do its calcination with the alum or the borax so here these plasters are set very slowly but they give a very hard finish in this way we can change it to fill the cavity in a better way so that's why it can be used as a fillers in different pipelines or in the paper industries on the other hand we have also portland cements this portland cement is also made by heating the calcium carbonate or the limestone in the presence of clay so we gain a portland cement which is used to make the houses or to join the different bricks so this was a simple overview about the uses of or the role of the gypsum in our agriculture and in our industries i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that and the next topic that we will discuss it is the role of lime in agriculture and industry for that time you guys have a good day and keep learning